And, and at least you all have in this community, you're, you're doing something to address that concern out there. I mean, you, you could have just left this in the hands of the school system. Granted, they do their part to try to re recruit and retain African-American teachers, but this organization is, was formed to specifically you know, address that need and do something about it. So I think that's, that's admirable. Well, I'll use a language that's a little bit stronger than just address the need, but to support our two school divisions. Um, mm -hmm. We've had really strong superintendents and school boards who understand that there's a need to um, attract um, um, people of color, mm -hmm. and they understand uh, how that can impact student achievement. Mm -hmm. So um, this organization has been well received by the community, uh, the education community, um, um, in terms of embracing our mission of uh, supporting their goals. Charlottesville City and Amore County both have goals of, yeah. of recruiting and retaining um, minority um, applicants, minority teachers. Okay, Brandon, you are a teacher at Jack Jewett Middle School, correct? Correct. Okay, what grade do you teach there? I teach 6th uh, through 8th grade. You, you teach all the grades, okay. Correct. Okay, um, you've been affiliated with AATF for how long now? Two years. Two years. All right, um, tell me why you chose to become a teacher. Well, uh, in thinking about uh, my background uh, post college, I ended up in a, a situation uh, like a lot of college students my age, not sure what career I would pick and what direction I would uh, take my education. However, in reflecting on uh, my upbringing, I, th I thought about my parents, my father an educator, uh, my mother uh, also an educator through uh, dance and, and or interpretation. Uh, my grandmother, who practically raised me, also worked in the school system as a bus driver in the cafeteria, and the list goes on really throughout the family. Mm -hmm. uh, so as, as an interest in thinking about the gaps in my own education uh, growing up in a situation that something like uh, or similar to a lot of the demographics that are here in Charlottesville, uh, I looked at the, the community and tried to uh, do what my father would say, stick my neck out there. And uh, I, I started substitute teaching and uh, I liked it a lot and mm -hmm. related to some of the students, um, some not so much like the high school level, uh, mm -hmm. because I think because of the age difference. But uh, now I, I see that uh, my interest was definitely well served, being that uh, I'm liking the, the career and I'm liking learning as well. Right. 